welcome back to Winchester Fail. For this episode, we're going to do two projects in one. So the first thing we're going to do is going to be chemistry magic with some nice colored Sharpies, a canvas, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add rubbing alcohol to it. We're just going to drop it on and then it should create a nice swirly marble-like pattern on the canvas. Once that dries, then we're going to flip it over and we're going to use an X-Acto knife and cut out a shape. And the one that I saw online that someone had done, it was just a regular, they carved out the image of a tree connected to the canvas. So we're gonna marble it. The only colors I have for my Sharpie collection is blue, green, and red. And these are the really fine, the really fine pens. So I don't know if it's gonna work really well, but I have black that I can add wherever necessary. Hopefully it doesn't come out too dark or like blotchy or weird, but I'm just gonna dive right in. Here we go. I'm just gonna start coloring. Starting with blue. It doesn't have to look perfect from what I gather. Sorry if this sounds gross. Some green. Red. I'm going to go in with a little bit of black. And then I'm just going to add more to fill in the gaps. Okay, we're all colored. All colored in. My lighting isn't very great. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take rubbing alcohol. Ta-da! Just regular bathroom isopropyl alcohol they use for cleaning stuff cleaning wounds and whatever antiseptic and we are going to dip in a straw and just lightly drop it Throw it.
I went back to look at the pin in Pinterest with the directions and it looks like I mistook what this project actually is. What they did was they used Sharpie on coasters and then used the rubbing alcohol over it. So um, the Sharpies that I used don't really blend much. I'm gonna move on. Part one didn't really work. My coloring didn't really work, but um, let's try carving it, carving the canvas, and we'll see where that takes us. So this part seemed wicked cool. It's going to be like a tree. So I'm just going to start cutting my canvas, a nice stretched canvas for this. And I have the cardboard down around just so I don't get it everywhere. So I don't cut the table on accident. So here goes one piece. Pull this part off. This is nice because it's stretched. It's on a stretched canvas. Woohoo! So here goes this piece. Bye. Wish I could hear him, but that's just. Here goes another piece. Ooh, ah. Can you sort of see that it's a tree? Almost. Let's cut off some more branches. All right, tree silhouette, let's see what you look like in color. All right, well, since the Sharpie didn't work the way I expected it to, um, I might just keep it like this. It's pretty neat. 
I'm trying to loosen it a little and I broke it. That's okay. Cool. So here's this. Um, I'm sure you could sketch it out if you know what you want to look for. I just kind of went for it. But here's my tree silhouette. It's about a 50% win. So it's doable. Didn't take too long. It has a really nice feeling to it to have like, ooh, is that a shadow box? No. It's my tree silhouette. Wow. And you could paint this if you want, um, or you could try to marble it. The picture that I saw on Pinterest with the tree silhouette actually was uh, the back view. It was a picture like this, and I think this really gives it more dimension, which I actually prefer. So in that sense, I'm going to say, since I didn't follow the directions, I'm going to disregard this. And I'm going to say this tree silhouette carving is super cool, and it's very rugged, and I like it a lot. I'm going to put it on my wall. And I'm going to say, we have a window! Thank you very much for joining me in my tree silhouette carving, and I hope to see you next time. Send me ideas. I got a couple already in some of my comments on my older videos, so check those out. Comment on those. Um, see what I've already done and give me suggestions for things that you would like to see. Thank you for joining me as always. Bye.